اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today we'll continue the uh, lesson from درس اللغه العربيه book number 1 So we'll start with Al-Huruf Al-Qamariyatu Wal-Huruf Al-Shamsiyatu So the uh, lunar letters and the solar letters So the first one would be the lunar letters Al-Huruf Al-Qamariyatu First is Al-Abu The Father Second is Al-Babu, the door. Third is Al-Jannatu, the garden. Al-Himaru, the donkey. Al-Khubzu, the bread. Al-Ainu, the eye. Al-Ghadaw, the lunch. Al-Famu, the mouth. Al-Kamaru, the moon. Al-Kalbu, the dog. Al-Mau, the the water al waladu the boy al hawau the air al yadu the hand so here if you see for uh, lunar letters we we'll use al kamaru al ainu so whereas for al huruf al shamsiya which is a solar letters we won't use the al you would combine it to the next letter so for example the first one ta is at tajiru the merchant and then tha is the thawb at thawbu the thawb or the dress for da uh, dal at diku the rooster at zahabu the gold at rajulu the man at zahratu the flower at samaku the fish at shamsu the sun As-sadru, the chest. As-zaifu, the guest. As-talibu, the student. As-zahru, and then al-lahmu, so, and then al-an-najmu. Uh, so al-lahmu is the meat, and then an-najmu, is a star tamreen exercise ikral kalimatan atiyata waktubha murayyan qawaida Nuthil Hurufi Nuthil Hurufil Kamariyati was Shamsiyati. So Ikra read Al Kalima Al Kalima Til Atiyata the following words Waktubha and write them Murayan keeping in mind Kawaida the rules Nuthi pronunciation. Al Huruf Al Kamariya was Shamsiya of the lunar letters and solar letters. So read the following words and write them, keeping in mind the rules of pronunciation uh, of lunar letters and solar letters. Al okay. Baitu. So this is a uh, lunar letter. So that's why you're you're saying you're adding Al Baitu the house. Okay. Diku. This is a solar letter. So you're using. Addiku, you are not using al diku. So al diku, al the the rooster, al mudarrisu the teacher, al babu the door, al talibu the student, al sukkaru the sugar, al daftaru the notebook or the office, al ahu the book, al rasulu the messenger, al wajhu the face, al sadiku the friend. Al Quranu, the Quran. As Salatu, the prayer. Al Kabatu, the Kaaba. Al Rasu, the head. Al 
is bow, the finger. Asabunu, the soap. Az az azufru, the nail. Al fajru, the fajr prayer. Azuhru, the afternoon or the zuhr or the midday. Al asru, the evening or asr. Al maghribu, the maghrib or maghrib prayer or the sunset. Al ishau, the uh, the isha. Now we'll go to the fourth lesson. So we'll first read the uh, grammar form. In this lesson, we will learn the use of prepositions. Arabic nouns have endings to show their functions in the sentence. The normal ending of a noun is damba, as in albaitu, jadidu. So the normal ending is albaitu. So a noun with the normal ending is said to be in the nominative case. In Arabic, it is called marfuun. So the word with the nominative case is called uh, marfuun. So after a preposition, after a preposition or harfejar, this ending changes to kasara. For example, al baitu, the house. If, it, if you put in fil baiti, fi is the preposition or harfejar in the house. So it becomes fil baiti. Instead of baitu, it becomes baiti. Okay, next is baitun, a house. Fi baitin, in the house, in a house. In a house. Fi baitin is a house. Al maktabu. The, the table, al al maktabi, on the table. So, a noun that is preceded by a preposition is said to be in the genitive case. In Arabic, it is called majroorun. So, in Arabic, there is uh, three words uh, essentially marfoon, majroorun, and mansoobun. So, mar marfu is the one that has the dhamma, whereas majroor is the one that has the kasara. In this lesson, we'll also learn the two pronouns, hua, which means he or it, and hia, which means she or it. So in Arabic nouns, all nouns, in Arabic, all the nouns are either masculine or feminine. The masculine noun is referred to by the pronoun hua, when, whether it denotes a human being, an animal, or a thing. For example, ayn al waladu. So here it denotes a human being. Where is the boy? So what are you going to answer? Hua fil masjidi. Hua. He is in the mosque. Whereas, let's see, okay, the, the word fi has a long kasara. But when it is followed by al, the kasara is shortened because in Arabic long vowels are not followed by a consonant which has no vowel. For example, feel becomes feel, feel. Uh, let's see an example here. Okay, so here if you see, fee by tin, fee by tin. So you're going to prolong the fee, so the kasara is prolonged. Whereas if you put the next word comes al, fill by tin, fill by tin. So the al is, uh, when it's followed by al, the kasara is shortened. Where is the book? Ain al kitabu. What are you going to answer? Even though it is, it is, it's a masculine. Uh, so you'll use huwa alal maktabi. Huwa alal maktabi. It is on the table. Okay. And a feminine noun is referred to by the pronoun hiya, whether it denotes a human being, an animal, or a thing. Same thing. Where is Amina? Where is Amina? Aina Amina tu. Aina Amina tu. What are you going to answer? Let's say she is in the house. So you have to use the preposition. Here, a pronoun. Uh, you have to use the pronoun here. Here, fil baiti. She is in the house. Where is the watch? Aina saatu. Here, ala sariri. It is on the bed. Most feminine nouns 
end with a ta marbuta, uh, which is a round ta. But there are some which do not have any ending. So most of the feminine nouns will end with a round ta. Then there are other uh, 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 things that that that, call, that that denote femininity. We'll learn this later. Also, please note that we have learned that the tanveen is the indefinite article. For example, baitu, a house. But this rule does not apply to proper nouns. So, hamidun is just hamid, not a hamid. The same thing, similarly feminine nouns, they have no feminine proper nouns, they have no tanveen. For example, it's fatimatu. You don't say fatimatun, zainabun, aminatun. You just say fatimatu. Zainabu Aminatu. So feminine proper nouns have no tanveen, and also tanveen is the indefinite article. That rule does not apply to proper nouns. Vocabulary Ala, on, Aina, where, Asamau, the sky, Hurfatun, room, Alfaslu. In the classroom, al hammamu, in the bathroom, al mirkhazu, al mirkhazu, uh, toilet, the toilet, al madbahu, the kitchen, fi is in. Let's do some uh, um, from the book. Let's do some questions and let's do some examples. Adarsu Rabi, Adarsu Rabi, fourth lesson. First part Al Baitu. So the house. So when you add in the house, how do you say? Fil Baiti. So the Dhamma becomes Kasra here. Something. Al Masjidu, the mosque. Fil masjidi in the in the mosque. So again, fil masjidi the fi is short. The kasra is short here. Whereas if you say masjidun, fi masjidin, so you'll have a long kasra if there is no alif lam next to fi. Al maktabu. You can say the the desk. Al al maktabu on the desk. As sariru the bed. Alasariri on the bed. Next words. Ah, Muhammadun. Where is Muhammad? Kua fil hurfati. So he is in the room. So here, if you see, hua is used because Muhammad is masculine. So the pronoun is hua. Fil hurfati. So you are not going to use hurfatu or hurfata. Because of fi, which is harfejar, which is a preposition, so you are going to add kasara. So it will become huwa fil hurfati. Wa aina yasirun. And where is yasir? Huwa fil hammami. He is in the bathroom. Wa aina aminatu. And where is amina? Now this is a feminine jump. So you are going to use hiya. Hiya fil madbaki. She is in the kitchen. Again, fi fil madbaki. So you're going to use harfajar. Uh, because of harfajar fi, you're going to use madbaki. Ain al kitabu. Where is the book? So uh, kitab is a masculine gender. So you're going to use huwa. Huwa al maktabi. It is in the, as it is on the table. Even though this is an, a thing, you're still going to use the masculine gender because in Arabic there are only two genders that use masculine and feminine. Wa'ayna saatu, and where is the watch? Hiya ala sariri, female gender, that's why you're using hiya. It is on the bed. This is the al madbahu, the kitchen. We'll stop here, inshallah. We'll continue next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Barakallahu.